uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Today, I'm going to take you through the exploding attachment for the crossbow, and it's absolutely must-know stuff. This is a hugely underrated weapon that will improve your... I know this sounds crazy to say, it's a crossbow, but I genuinely use this in the second slot, and it is pretty voracious in the way it works. Uh, and I'm going to explain to you exactly how it works, why it can work for you, what you need to make it work, a couple of the things that you don't know, more than likely don't know about the crossbow, particularly about a way to use the sight. Our good mate, Hockey Rupp, uh, Rupi was good enough to run a sight up which shows the distances and why you should be using the default crossbow sight, not the red dot uh, or any other scope. Although you can use them, it just takes a little more use uh, to get good with them. And how it does its damage. And I went and did all the testing. That's Bushka data there. Uh, I can tell you that the quiver is a must-have for this. The quiver reload speed is 2.4 seconds. If you take the quiver off and you fire it, your reload speed is 3.5 seconds. So it gains 30% reload speed if you run a quiver. It also does that weird thing with the splash damage where it gives it the number of shots hit counts as like three or two or whatever it may be, like it's hitting with shotgun pellets. But here's some cool things you need to know about it, right? Because it's a crossbow, the bolts will stick in things. So you can shoot cars like that and then it will just track with them and explode and do damage to the target and then when the target gets out it's already damaged and i need to tell you that it's really damaged uh, if you hit someone in a level two vest with this crossbow it will do 97 damage with the bolt plus the explosion the explosion is 55 damage and watch this this is amazing see that this is to win the game I fired it into the ground and that poor grub walked straight through it in full level three gear. And he has now been hit for 55 splash damage. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. It's going to do that damage, right? And then I hit him in the foot and he dies. It's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. And people just aren't using it. One of the problems with it is it's hard to find crossbow bolts. So it can be quite frustrating when you want to run it. If you've only got five or so bolts, it's almost like running an AMR. Um, and I'll show you something right now that is pretty cool because it is almost like running an AMR. It takes three shots with this thing to clear a buggy, okay? And you got to remember, if someone is sitting in that buggy, they're also taking splash damage from the crossbow as they're driving around. It takes four shots to clear a Murado. Uh, these are big numbers. Obviously, you're not going to hit people. But if you're a snake, and this is built for snakes. This gun is built for snakes. One other thing that I haven't got footage of here, but which I've done, and I, I didn't save it. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. Uh, you can use this to fire a crossbow bolt all the way across the map. And people just hear the explosion and run towards it because they think there's a grenade over there. It's such a great distraction. It takes three plus, like, just a touch. Two rounds to blow up a Darcia. It takes seven rounds to kill a, you know, the big rig. Um, but that's fair enough. Like, what are you going to do? That's, that's fine. So you can use this to distract people. You can throw it across a long while. I've done it from apartments, in fact, to other apartment buildings and people think that there's someone fighting in there and then they cross to get the third party and you clear them. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. Okay, some other things you need to know gotcha. about this. How to use the site. Do you see how I made a mark there by double tapping the, you know, mark symbol on the screen? And then I raised the scope up. Now that is the stock scope for the crossbow, not the actual scope like a red dot or something. Watch out. The reason that works so effectively is that little mark there that you see on the right of the screen is 130 meters. If it's 143 meters away, you just raise the scope up to 130 and then touch higher, as you can see there, and it's going to hit that mark every time. 
the marks on the right of the screen are the marks further along. So all you've got to do is know like a few distances and you're able to correctly aim the crossbow at a target regardless of where that target is all the way out to the 200s. I'd love it if it wasn't a fuzzy green or it was a bit bigger, but it absolutely works. So if you want to be effective and you want to be sneaky and you go snaking around, then you can really be effective with it. You can hit targets. You can also do this with the Forex. Uh, Hockey made another one for the Forex. And I don't know how we're going to get these up, but we've got to get them up somewhere so people can use them. Now let's talk about some of the problems. It's not as good as you would expect for the artillery barrage thing. Unlike a grenade that you can cook, it's very, very difficult to get someone to sit still long enough to actually take damage from one once they realize that they're dealing with an exploding crossbow bolt. You can't pre-cook it. So as you can see in this engagement, I'm chucking crossbow bolts up everywhere and I'm just trying to trick the guy down so that I can actually get a kill with it and get some footage. But it's not working because he's not dumb and he's not going to sit in a corner like some of the other people that I've played and just make it easy for me. It is excellent, excellent at clearing knocks uh, from other teams. Hang on, I'll show you a clip. So this is uh, a long range gunfight, right? And as long as I know where they're going, I can be effective with them. Everyone else is shooting at them and sniping at them. They can't actually hit them behind that tree. So even though they're damaged, they can't hit them behind that tree. But I'm able to land them just behind. And every time I land one near them, it's doing like 55 damage if they're close enough, okay? So it's actually doing splash damage. And although it's not super effective at instantly knocking them, as you can see there, it works. It genuinely works. It it ruins people. And they just don't know how to deal with it because it's a silent weapon for starters. And if you're third partying an engagement and you're chucking this stuff up and just throwing crossbow bolts into the middle of smoke, it's devastating. And I know this sounds crazy, but the further away you are, the better it is because it's almost like pre-cooking a grenade. Do you see how quick I got them both? Do you see how that's me stopping and yelling in the stream? In the stream. Because if you're holding a grenade, right, you're meaning it means there's no chance of someone doing anything. It, it impacts so quickly. You don't get the chance to react to it. Well, the further away they are, then the less time there's a beep, 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 beep on the ground. If it's right next to you, it goes beep, 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 beep. It's a problem. If you hit someone, it will explode on impact, which is great, but you're not always going to do that. So what you can do is when you fire it, like in this situation here, it not only knocked the dude, it killed the other guy. Like it ruined everyone. Um, it's, it's genuinely special and it's a weapon that I think people are going to start making the most of uh, in the next few patches, in the next few weeks rather, and months. And if they don't nerf it, I'm going to be running this a lot. It's it's something that I have really enjoyed making a video of. I mean, we've always had crossbows and they've always been fun, but the big drawback has been that it's just not enough. It doesn't do enough damage unless you hit a headshot or they don't wear any armor because it's a hot drop this will clear a target if it's taken any damage at all uh 97 base damage is basically what you're doing into a level two vest including the uh the bolt so all they've got to do is be breathed on and you will kill them i mean we've now got three shades of crossbow we've got the crossbow on noosa the flaming crossbow We've got the standard crossbow. That's the tactical crossbow on Noosa, obviously. We've got the standard crossbow. Oh, the tactical crossbow is hilarious in itself. Hit the guy, and then he's on fire, and he dies to the flames like half a second later. And, I mean, this guy gets double tapped, which is just amazing, by two crossbows. <laughs> Man, diggling. Uh, and you'll see these, these are great examples of this absolutely wrecking people i mean the next guy is even better the 
the crossbow is genuinely enhanced by running this attachment. It reminds me of Half-Life Deathmatch with the grenade launcher on the AR, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, it's so intimidating that sometimes people will even just surrender, as this young amigo did, rather than go under the hammer with the crossbow. It's just jumping up and down saying, I give in, I give in, I surrender. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would do me the world of good. I'm Bushka. The support has been tremendous. Don't stop turning up. We'll keep making videos and testing things. And until oh, next really? time, stay safe yeah. on the battlefield. Yeah. Bye for now. G'day, buddy. Cool.